Hello everyone, I'm Donna Bush with your CIG TV News Brief and Weather Forecast. Thanks as always for being here with us. Another reminder today that persons who want to help with the Census 2021, you're invited to attend public information meetings starting this Thursday. The Census 2021 will be the most comprehensive database in the Cayman Islands. It will reflect the population count. It will reflect characteristics of the housing, housing characteristics, that is. It will also be used for policy making and for business planning. The first meeting will be held at the Theoline McCoy Primary School from 5.30 to 7 p.m. on Thursday. Those who attend will get all the necessary details and be able to sign up for a chance to be chosen as a census worker. Well, first of all, we are looking for honest, trustworthy and respectable persons. We are hoping that um, the persons that we recruit will be law-abiding and will be confidential as the Statistics Act covers confidentiality and protects information collected from the general public. Um, some of the qualifications include um, high school graduate, and most, the persons must have a driver's license, and must have access to reliable transport, must have their own health insurance, and at the same time, pass a police background check. Now, if you've already signed up, you're asked to attend uh, these meetings. Those who are selected will then undergo training over several weeks to become either enumerators or supervisors in their various districts across the Cayman Islands. We are looking to recruit approximately 420 workers. 410 of them will be field workers, while the other 11 will be area coordinators. The census workers will be the interface between the household and the ESO, they will ask the survey question and they will collect the responses and that data will then be edited and transferred to the ESO. Enumerators will be paid approximately $40 per questionnaire, which is equivalent to about 50 cents per question, while field supervisors will be paid $3,500 at a flat rate. In addition, each enumerator will be allocated approximately 100 households which means that at the rate of $40, they will make approximately $4,000 for the duration of the census, which is expected to last just about two months. For details on where all the meetings will be held, you can go online to ESO.KY. Well, the Cayman Islands Forensic Science Laboratory team at the Health Services Authority will join scientists across the globe in being able to analyze the full genomic sequence of the SARS-CoV-2 virus from infected individuals by utilizing next generation sequencing and advanced technology that's new to the Cayman Islands. The AHSA now has two next generation sequencers because of the generous donations from the R3 Cayman Foundation, the Caring for Life Foundation, and an anonymous private donor. The HSA team will now have the capability to determine the various strains of SARS-CoV-2. Additionally, the machines will be able to gain actionable insights into any transmission of SARS-CoV-2, determining the source and network. Next generation sequencing is the gold standard for determining the genetic code of an organism and has revolutionized the life sciences industry, said local molecule biologist Mr. Jonathan Smelly. R3 Chairman Mr. Brian Hunter says R3 is proud to support the Health Services Authority's efforts to ready the Cayman Islands against emerging strains of the virus. Governor Martin Roper says he's very grateful to the donors who have made it possible for Cayman to procure this world-leading technology. He added it will play a significant role in helping us detect all COVID variants and ensure that we can use this information to help the people of the Cayman Islands stay safe as this pandemic continues to play out around the world. Now, the acquisition of the genetic uh, sequencing machines will also provide the opportunity for new career opportunities as our country's forensic science capacity expands and the local need for scientists and skilled technicians continues to grow. Turning now to our forecast for today, the high temperature reached 89 degrees, the low 78. We can expect partly cloudy skies with a 40% chance of afternoon showers and possible thunder. Winds are from the east to southeast, 10 to 15 knots today, 5 to 10 knots tonight. Seas are slight to moderate with wave heights of 2 to 4 feet. Now the synopsis shows moderate easterly winds and seas, which will continue across the Cayman Islands area for the next 24 hours. It's all as a ridge of high pressure system lingers north of the Caribbean Sea. Radar images show isolated showers that are in and around the Cayman Islands area that are moving towards the west. A reminder that you can find the latest on local weather conditions online at weather.gov.ky. 
And that ends it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, inviting you to join us back here again tomorrow. Until then, be safe and have a great night.